for our next news special report. As shadows lengthen over Capitol Hill, new revelations threaten to shake the very pillars of our republic. Within this expose lies a tangled web of financial dealings, a luxurious beach house with murky origins, and a family ensnared at the epicenter of it all. The depths we're about to plunge into will reveal unsettling transactions, casting a stark light on President Joe Biden's financial entanglements. But brace yourself for the final thought unraveling that will challenge everything that we know. Final thought awaits. A concluding piece of this investigative puzzle that no American should miss, and it's not just about uncovering truth. It's about our nation's soul, the integrity of our leadership, and the transparency we as citizens are entitled to. So stay with us as we journey through these alarming discoveries, leading to a conclusion that beckons an urgent call to action. In what's emerging as a significant revelation, the House Oversight Committee has unveiled a direct payment to President Joe Biden seemingly channeled through his brother James. So here's the scoop. In 2018, James Biden, evidently cashing in on his family name, secured $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a struggling rural hospital operator. Fast forward to March 1, 2018. On this day, AmeriCorps transfers a $200,000 loan directly into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account. Without wasting any time on that very same day, James sends a check of the same amount, $200,000 to none other than Joe Biden, labeling it as a loan repayment. This prompts the critical question, why would AmeriCorps, a distressed entity, lend money to James Biden only for it to end up in Joe Biden's pocket? Chairman James Comer didn't mince words. He said, we found some in response to Biden's previous query of where's the money? The committee's rigorous examination has discovered bank records revealing this direct payment. Chairman Comer, rightfully perplexed, presents some pressing questions for President Biden, such as the reasoning behind such an enormous loan amount, any similar financial agreements, and Biden's awareness of James' dealings with a sinking company. Watch. This summer, Joe Biden said, where's the money? Well, we found some. We're still digging into evidence subpoenaed from bank accounts belonging to Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, and James and Sarah Biden, the brother and sister-in-law of the president. A document that we're releasing today raises new questions about how President Biden personally benefited from his family's shady influence peddling of his last name and their access to him. Bank records obtained by the House Committee on Oversight have revealed a $200,000 direct payment from James and Sarah Biden to Joe Biden in the form of a personal check. Here's some important context about this check we've obtained in our investigation. In 2018, James Biden received $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. According to bankruptcy court documents, James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections, end quote. On March 1st, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. James Biden wrote this check to Joe Biden as a, quote, loan repayment. AmeriCorps, a distressed company, loaned money to James Biden, who then sent it to Joe Biden. Even if this was a personal loan repayment, it's still troubling that Joe Biden's ability to be paid back by his brother depended on the success of his family's shady financial dealings. Some immediate questions President Biden must answer for the American people. Does he have documents proving he lent such a large sum of money to his brother? And what were the terms of such financial agreement? Did he have similar financial agreements with other family members that led them to make similar large payments to him? And did he know that the same day James Biden wrote him a check for $200,000, James Biden had just received a loan for the exact same amount from business dealings with a company that was in financial distress and failing. The House Oversight Committee will soon announce our next investigative actions and continue to follow the money. The bank records don't end here. There's more to come.
More to come, and we are waiting. And President Donald Trump, he took to social media on Saturday commenting on the smoking gun evidence that President Biden was directly involved in his family's business affairs. Simply posting, check please, he wrote in the post, which featured a screen grab of Newsmax anchor Greg Kelly holding a facsimile of a personal check for $200,000 made out to Joseph R. Biden Jr. Now shifting our focus to another curious transaction, President Joe Biden's 2017 purchase of a lavish beach house has caught the attention of Republican investigators. Records indicate no mortgage was taken out during the acquisition of this $2.75 million residence. This suggests a full cash payment, which coincides suspiciously close to a text from Hunter Biden to Chinese business associates. This particular message conveyed Hunter's anticipation of a call with his father and the closing of a deal worth a whopping $10 million annually. But what's this? Just as our muscles weaken with age, our republic's strength and integrity may be eroding with these shadowy dealings. Just like how the body loses muscle mass, our trust in political transparency seems to be diminishing. And that's why, like many who turn to innovative products, they, to address muscle loss, it's essential to see clarity and truth in these troubling times. This particular muscle product with its four science-backed ingredients mirrors the four pillars of our republic, transparency, integrity, accountability, and justice. And for those interested, there's a special 41% offer for the rest of the month at gainwithgary.com. And now back to our investigation. Between 2015 and 2017, the Biden family allegedly received a sum of about $1.3 million from a Chinese company deal. This aligns uncomfortably close with Joe Biden's luxury beach house purchase timeline. Raising eyebrows further is the reported family income of $11 million in 2017. Though the Bidens claim the beach house fund stemmed from a book deal, the timing and surrounding circumstances remain suspect. Chairman Comer articulated these concerns succinctly, linking Joe Biden's beach house acquisition to the timeline of his family's dealings with a CCP-linked entity. The pressing question remains, is there more than meets the eye? America stands at a crossroads where the integrity of our leadership faces grave questions. The revelations laid bare within this investigation into President Joe Biden's financial transactions and his family dealings are more than troubling. They're a siren call for accountability. When a leader's actions blur the lines of ethics, casting shadows of doubt over their stewardship, it's not just an individual on trial. It's our entire system of governance. We as a nation cannot turn a blind eye or silently acknowledge the erosion of our values. This is a clarion call for immediate, decisive action. The evidence demands scrutiny, the situation, transparency, and the office of presidency, unimpeachable integrity. Our final thought is a resonant demand for justice. For the sake of our republic's future, for the trust of the governed, there must be a thorough investigation and, if warranted, a resolution to remove from office. The time for accountability is now. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.